My name is Buster the Bunny, although you all know me as either Chicken Mister for the uh, other YouTube channel or the um, underscore eight version of the uh, Blue Rabbit. But um, my pal Fluffy and I decided, hey, <coughs> let's make a nifty little YouTube channel about playing video games we like and share it with the world. We're not trying to be like an actual gamer person or those let's play channels. We're just trying to have some fun. So. Um, I figured I'd go way, way, way back and start start gaming off from as close as I got in my collection of 17 different consoles with Pong from the Atari 2600. Uh, I'll see if I can do a little bit of a history lesson while I um, while I uh, while I play. Um, it's been a while, so we'll see. There's a setting for smaller paddles. I don't intend on using that necessarily, um, but so. I know Atari was created in 75 I think by hold on I'm gonna do nothing Fuck. go was created by Ralph Nolan or Nolan, Mr. Nolan. No, Nolan Bushnell, I'm sorry, I don't know why I was thinking of Ralph Nolan. But Ralph Nolan in seventy oh, a little after okay. Before I can speak about Atari, I have to talk about Little Brown Box, because that was the thing. This guy Ralph Fair in like sixty something created the first uh, version of Pong that you see here. The difference is, I don't have an English knob. Wherever the ball hits my paddle, if it hits it at an angle, it'll turn off and bump off at an angle. Um, damn it. But his was powered by, I think, 4C batteries and had an English knob. Uh, his product was tested. Uh, I forget specifically where, if it was a laboratory or something. I think it was. And then it was later sold off to Sears. But the other thing was, you you couldn't keep score uh, on his automatically. You had to you had to do it on yourself. So you had to know, you know, 5 up, 5 8, who's got the point, that kind of thing. And keep score yourself, because otherwise you wouldn't know who had won. Um, Sears liked the idea. And in 72, 73, I think, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's 74. This is not helping my concentration. Um, did uh, this console called the Magnavox Odyssey, which was, it had an English knob still. It was the very first home console to be released as far as I know. Um, it had, I don't know, not a whole lot of games. And um, it went, yes, you little bastard. And it, just gonna have to concentrate and shoot this thing. Ah! But essentially, crap. Oh, that'll work just nicely. But what happened was, yeah, I have to move my paddle to kick this computer's ass. But anyway, it was Nolan Bushnell who saw the Brown Box and the Magnavox Odyssey that Ralph Fair had created and helped Sears make into production kind of thing. And so with that in mind, basically there's like some kind of court suit. Some kind of court suit and they settled out of court over something. I think it was the fact that Roy Nolan Bushnell's Atari closely resembled that of um what's his name's brown box. Oh, thank God I can stop and talk. <laughs> it's a little hard to concentrate and shit when I'm uh, to talk to you guys when I'm doing that, but um 
So here's what I know. This was the result of probably a court case between um, the creator and founder of Atari, Nolan Bushnell, and um, and um, Ralph Baer, who created the Round Box and happened to be a Magnavox Odyssey. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is what I got. Uh, after that, um, it was settled on court. This came into production, and this is what people remember most about the Atari 2600. Pong, Space Invaders, you know, Pac-Man, stuff like that. Uh, what else was on there? Surround, uh, Maze Craze, E.T., the world's worst video game. You might get a chance to see that. Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't feel like touching it at the moment. But anyway, um, I'm going to play one more round because I don't have time to do that. I should have turned this down. Basically, you use one paddle if you're one player. I'll show you in a second. You got it. Oh, crap. I won the last one, but only by a margin. Um, hang on a second. This can get, this can get ugly here in a second. I'm going to get super angry. So I'll get pink right here. <laughs> Freaking computer wants to smoke me. Don't make me do sudden death. Oh, you. I can't concentrate. on you the first time, and then the second time, I'm going to totally smoke you. Nah, do it anyway. Ah. Oh. Alright, um, as you can see, now I gotta play him again because now we're tied. I have enough time to do it. Yeah, I do. But here's the basics of what you got. Um, it's a very short one, so maybe I got another one here in the in the bin somewhere that I can dangle in front of you guys. But basically, here's what you got. As you can see, maybe not very well. That's Pong. That's meant for Pong. All you got is your little wheel to operate your paddle. This is your English, not English knob, but speed knob. You know, you want the ball to go faster, like you're smacking it harder. That's what you do. All right. I got just enough time to see if I can kick his ass one more time, because it's not fair. <laughs> Suck. And this game came out in 77. I don't know if it was the package deal with the Atari, though. Um, I, because I don't know much beyond the NES, because I grew up with the NES. I didn't grow up with the Atari, unfortunately, or I'd have a lot more games in my collection. And it'd be in a lot better shape than manuals. I mean, the games work fine, as you can see. It's like a no-brainer, you know, but some of the manuals would be in better shape. And the boxes, maybe. At least I got more than last time so far. Oh, this game's cheating on me. This game is 
is cheating. It cheats. It's cheating. It's not cool. <laughs> skipper right now, I'd tell Private to close his ears, then he'd use my angry words. I'm not going to sit here and take this no for an answer. Don't spin up the speed or I'm going to be in trouble. Come on. Uh, take that, you little lousy computer. Son of a... Uh, <laughs> oh, this is not my day. Well, I can't do any more for this video. Time's up. But I will play a little bit more and let you know what the final score was when I finally beat the computer. So far, he's two to my one. Uh, I'll let you know in the next video. Otherwise, take care and you'll see me and or Plucky and or both of us playing games in the future for you to enjoy. Please, as always, see you later, Toonsters, and take care.